I'm a dog. Can include number two. I live in the Tweely nursery. Can include number three. I have red and yellow fur. Have you guessed yet? Yes, of course. It's Doodles from the Tweed. I'm on my holidays in Scotland, and I'm taking a trip on a boat, which is one of my favourite things. Now, this boat is going somewhere special. We're on our way to see some creatures who live in the sea. But they're not fish, and they're not crabs. Can you guess what they are? Oh, I'll give you a clue. They've got whiskers and flippers, but they like to eat fish. That's right, they're seals. And we're on our way to an island where the seals rest when they come out of the sea. Oh, I'm looking forward to seeing them. I've never seen seals in the wild before. And on my way there, I'm enjoying the boat trip because I just love bobbing up and down on a boat. I'm bobbing up and down on a boat. Bobbing up and down on a boat On a boat, boat, boat You can float, float, float I'm bobbing up and down on a boat I'm looking out to sea to find a fish I know it's going to make a tasty dish How I wish, wish, wish for a fish, fish, fish I'm bobbing up and down on a boat I'm bobbing up and down upon the sea Oh, what a very chilly place to be! I feel right at home on the waves and foam When I'm bobbing up and down on the sea! Hee, hee. Oh, look! There they are! Oh, well, the seals spend most of their time in the water. That's where they hunt for fish. And they come onto the island to rest and to sleep. Most of the time, the seals are very happy living out here. But sometimes a seal may have an accident and hurt itself, or a baby seal might lose its mother and have no one to take care of it. But luckily there are people who come out here and make sure the seals are all right. And if they find a seal that's hurt, or a lost baby, they take it to a special seal hospital. And that's where I'm off to next. Oh no! Judy's going to hospital! <laughs> oh, it's all right, Biz. It's a seal hospital. I know it's a real hospital. Oh, she must be ill. No, no, Fizz. It's a seal hospital. Yeah. A hospital for seals. You know, tails, flippers, whiskers. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> Are you all right, my dear? Yes. I'm just showing Fizz where Judy's going to hospital. Oh. Do you get it? Tails, flippers, whiskers. Oh, Oh, it's a good job Judy's going to hospital if she's got all that. Oh. Oh, I don't think Jake's quite got the idea yet. Uh, this is the Seals Hospital, and it's in the Scottish Sea Life Sanctuary. Sick or injured seals are brought here to be cared for. Well, they also look after baby seals who've lost their mothers until they're big and strong enough to look after themselves. Then, they're taken back to the sea. And they've also got some seals who live here all the time. Good swimmers. Just look at how fast they go. Oh, they have to be fast to catch the fish. These seals are called Blondie, Lorne and Gia. And they live here at the sanctuary. They don't have to hunt for fish. It's brought to them. Oh, they're lucky, aren't they? <laughs> and it's not just seals they have here. They've got almost everything you find in the sea off the coast of Scotland. Look at this pool. It's got starfish, and crabs, and anemones. And the best part about it is, you're allowed to touch them. 
Oh, watch what happens when I touch this little anemone with this little stick. <laughs> Did you see that? It closed up. Oh, that's how it catches its food. It waves its arms around, and when a tiny piece of food floats by, it grabs it and eats it. Oh, and look, this crab uses its claws to lift its food into its mouth, just like we do with a knife and fork. If you lived in the sea, what would you be? If you lived in the sea, what would you be? Lived in the sea, what would you be? I'd be an anemone. Lots of arms to wave around I'd sway and never make a sound If you lived in the sea, what would you be? If you lived in the sea, what would you be? I'd be a crab, that's me I'd creep around, I wouldn't talk And i use my claws like a knife and fork If you lived in the sea, what would you be? If you lived in the sea, what would you be? I'd be a starfishy! <laughs> I'd float by so prettily And everyone would look at me If you lived in the sea, what would you be? If you lived in the sea, what would you be? Hooray! Would be just right for me And I'd be welcome any place because I've got a smiley face! <laughs> if you lived in the sea, what would you be? If you lived in the sea, what would you be? <laughs> Just look at that! Oh, he does have a smiley face. <laughs> These fishes are called rays. They're a bit like birds, aren't they? They have long tails. And when they swim, they look as if they're flying. And every so often they come to the surface and you can see their smiley faces. Oh, I'm having a great holiday up here. And you'll never guess where I'm going now out to sea in a fishing boat to see if we can catch some prawns for our tea. This is my friend Alistair, and he's a real fisherman. He knows the very best place to catch prawns, and we're on our way there now. Ready when you are, Captain Alistair. Aye, aye. things are called krills, and when the boat goes out to sea, the krills are dropped over the side and left there overnight. Whilst we're all sleeping, the prawns swim into the krills, and then the boat comes back in the morning to collect them. And that's what we're going to do next. So here I am again, bobbing up and down in a boat. I'm bobbing up and down on a boat. Bobbing up and down on a boat. On a boat, 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 you can float, float, float. I'm bobbing up and down on a boat. I'm looking out to sea to find a fish. I know it's going to make a tasty dish. How I wish, wish, wish for a fish, fish, fish when I'm bobbing up and down on a boat. Now this is where Alistair left the krills last night. And it's time to pull them up. See if we've caught anything. <gasps> oh, aren't we lucky? Oh, there's a lovely lot of prawns in there. So now all we've got to do is take them home. We're bobbing up and down, going home. We're sailing back across the waves and foam. Back in port, 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 we'll show them what we've caught whilst we're bobbing up and down in a boat. Whilst we're bobbing up and down in a boat! Bye-bye, Alistair. Oh, thanks for a lovely trip. Bye-bye. Well, I'm ready for a good cup of tea now. And I've heard a good place to get one is on the Isle of Ulver. So that's where I'm going. 
Well, that's Ulver over there. But how am I going to get there? Well, I'll tell you how. Somewhere over there is a man with a boat called a ferry, and he'll come to get me when he knows that I'm here. But how can I let him know that I want to go across? <laughs> it's no use shouting. It's a bit too far away, and he'd never hear me. But luckily there is a way, and it's rather clever. You see this whiteboard here? Well, I slide it across like this, and behind it is a red square. And when the ferryman sees it, he knows that someone wants to go across, and so he comes over to get them. Here he comes now. <laughs> Well, here I am on the Isle of Ulver, and I must say, I'm really looking forward to my cup of tea, and I can't think of a nicer place to have it. I always think a drink tastes so much better when you're having it somewhere nice, don't you? I always think that a drink tastes best in a really nice garden. Well, I always think that a drink tastes best on a really, really nice day at the sea. Well, I always think that a drink tastes best at a really, really good fun fair. Well, I always think that a drink tastes best when you're really, really thirsty. Hmm. Well, I think that that drink tasted pretty good here on Ulver. <laughs> now, Ulver is a very small island, so there are no cars or proper roads here and only a few houses. But there's one special house you can go into. It's called Sheila's Cottage. And here it is. Shall we go inside? <laughs> Sheila was a lady who lived here many years ago. Oh, look, there's a model of what she looked like. There she is, sitting by her fire. Oh, and here's her bed. Oh, look, it's in a cupboard. Oh, it could get very cold up here at night. So in a bed like this, Sheila could climb in and close the door and be all snug and warm. Hmm, good idea, huh? Well, I've really enjoyed my trip to Ulver, I must say. And now I'm on my way back home. So here I am again, bobbing up and down in a boat. I'm bobbing up and down on a boat. Bobbing up and down on a boat. On a boat, 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 you can float, float, float. Bobbing up and down on a boat. Bobbing up and down on a boat. Okay, neurons, time to get to work. Touch. Hear, see, smell, taste. With Nina and the neurons, you've got everything to gain as they explain exciting things that go on in your brain, like sight and sound and taste and touch and don't forget to smell. Nina and her neurons do experiments as well. So if you've got a question and you really need to know, make sense of your senses with their scientific show. We've got an answer for everything. Nina and the neurons, weekdays at 5.15 on CBeebies. Hello, my name's Andy, and I'm new around here, so why don't I tell you a little bit about myself? I like to grab my flippers and go diving in the sea. I've seen a turtle and a shark swimming close to me. As you see, I am quite big. I'm really rather tall. From here to here, I'm six foot four, nearly two metres in all. Oh, my name is Andy. I'm a really friendly bloke. Yes, my name is Andy, and I like to laugh and joke. Yes, my name is Andy, and I'll be here every day. Yes, my name is Andy, and I...